Loading a LUT onto your camera is one of the best things you can do as a filmmaker. This feature allows you to streamline the process of shooting to make sure that you have the colors you want coming out of camera and that there's minimal tweak involved in post-production. And with a lot of new Sony cameras out, they have the ability to add LUTs in camera so you can get that advantage and you can tailor your shooting to match the colors that you want to get in post. This will be a quick step-by-step -step guide to upload your LUTs onto Sony cameras. So there's five things that you'll need. The first one being a LUT that you wanna to upload to your camera, your Sony camera, whatever it may be, an SD card of your choice, and finally you'll need your computer. And if the LUTs you downloaded don't come with a monitor variation, we'll make that today in this tutorial. So for that, you'll need DaVinci Resolve. The free version works just fine. The first step in this process is just figuring out what LUT you're gonna use. Next is we're gonna attach the SD card to the computer and we're gonna put it into this file path right here. The actual file path is private Sony Pro LUT. Make sure that the card that you're using has been previously used by a Sony camera so that it has this file structure created. And if your camera supports this, this file structure should be there. Now that we put our LUT files that we want in camera onto our SD card, Let's eject it and put it into the camera. For the next step, you're gonna open up your menu. You're gonna go down to the exposure and color tab. You're then gonna go to color and tone, and then you'll go into the further file path of manage user LUTs. From here, you're gonna select the slot where you wanna import it, preferably an open one, or if you wanna override it, fair's game. And boom, you should be able to get shooting and see your LUTs already in camera. However, if you get this error message with the LUT, here's how you fix this. The reasoning why you're getting this error message is because the LUT wasn't properly formatted for monitoring use. This just means that it's probably a higher fidelity LUT meant for post-production workflows. So now we're gonna go into DaVinci. First, you're gonna open up a new project. You're gonna import a file. You're then gonna open up the color tab. We're gonna add a new node. We're then gonna add the LUT that we want. If we wanna add corrections to that LUT, maybe make it a little bit more contrasty, et cetera, we can. For all purpose sakes, for this tutorial, we're just gonna add the LUT. We're then gonna go down to the thumbnail preview. You're gonna right click, and you're gonna go down to generate LUT. You're gonna make sure that you select 33 grid. This basically converts the higher fidelity LUT into a smaller version that is easier for the camera to process or your monitor. So then you just follow the previous process of putting it back onto the SD card and you should have your LUT fixed. Now I'm a Premiere guy, so for me, I might be missing a thing or two in DaVinci. For all purpose sake, this workaround has fixed all the LUTs that I necessarily need. So I'll link the LUTs that I used in this video below if you're interested in getting this LUT. Um, it's not a paid affiliate link, they're from creators like you and me, who I think you should support. They're great resources on YouTube. Let me know how this tutorial worked for you, if you need to change anything up, or if you got stuck anywhere, I'll help you out in the comments below. If you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe, share this with someone who is struggling to upload their LUTs to a Sony camera. Other than that, go out, use it, happy creating. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.